Welcome back. We are here with Trent from The Craft. Trent, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Uh, so we own The Craft over at Cleveland. Uh, it's right across the street from East Jefferson. Um, basically, we're a storage unit for boats. Uh, we, have, we work with a couple mechanics. We're a detail shop. Really anything to do with boats, we are your people. <laughs> and what kind of got you into that lifestyle? Well, I actually uh, left Minnesota for 10 years. I went down to Disney. I water skied for them uh, for their shows. I did Cypress Gardens. Um, and then I just trained people from all over the world for quite a while. And it's just always been a passion of mine. Nice. And Trent, you're here to teach us about proper boating etiquette, correct? What does yes. that mean? <laughs> so it's knowing where everybody is out on the lake. Um, the biggest questions that we get are, where are the water ski boats going? Why are they so random? Um, they shouldn't be random, let's put it that way. Uh, they should have a specific technique of how to drive. And a lot of people don't know that technique because there's nowhere to really learn it. So we're hoping to get that education out there. So not only do uh, those boat drivers know how to drive, but fishing people, pontoon people know what is happening. So. And what do you, what would you say the benefits of knowing this etiquette would be? I would assume safety, right? Safety is number one. Um, definitely uh, just knowledge of the water. Owning your wake is probably the biggest thing that is in people's eyes. If you're a lakeshore owner, if you're uh, at a campground, uh, docks, everything kind of comes into play because that's all part of the atmosphere. So how do you control your own wake is the biggest question. Well, driving these techniques will really help out, especially with these wake surf boats out there. They create, you know, some of them create a four foot wave. And how do you keep the erosion from happening on the lake shores? Well, these techniques will definitely help out with that and will be a lot less complications and arguments out on the water. And where on the lakes do you use these techniques? So there's a couple different styles right here. So the water ski and wakeboard techniques, those should be usually used near a shore because they're usually a smaller wake that is being used, especially if you're water skiing. Um, and you, what you do is you drive a straight line and at the end of that line, you basically draw a teardrop to circle back in. Two reasons, one, it kills off the wake from each other from spreading and also for your rider, it actually clears the water completely so they have a nice smooth surface going right back to where they came from. Now that's important for the rider, but it's also important for the fishing people, pontoon people, everything like that because now you know exactly where that boat's driving and you know to stay away, you know you're 100 feet away from, me, from each other, not interfering with one another, and it just helps knowing what's going on. Right, and what was the other technique that you had um, illustrated? So what I call it the bow tie technique, and that's for wake surfing basically alone. So if you notice, they kind of almost look like a candy cane or a big bow tie. And what you would do is you would, let's say this is the starting point, you're driving in this type of circle, and what's happening is your major wave for that rider should be on the inside of that circle. The reason for that is because when you see these cross over right here, the, the wake is actually crashing into one another. So once it does that, it disintegrates. Gotcha. And that way it keeps from eroding on the lake shores. It keeps people on the fishing boats a lot happier because they don't have those big rollers that are coming at them. And it just keeps everybody safer. Well, but these techniques should be used out in the middle of the lake. Don't go by the lake shores because you don't have that turn radius. You want to make sure you have en enough space. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here and sharing your knowledge about all of this stuff. Um, really quick, if someone wanted to reach out to you with questions or anything, where can they find you? Yeah, so we're at uh, The Craft, which is right across the street from East Jefferson. Our phone number is 507-479-3818. And our uh, website is thecraftstorage.com. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, so, you much, so much, Trent. Absolutely. Well, still to come on K.